Hello everyone, welcome back to Mountain Computers. Today I've got another fairly short unboxing video for you. Today we're going to be looking at the Netgear Business WAX202-100NAS. This is a Wi-Fi 6 access point, uh, supposedly business grade. Um, basically what this is built to do is to allow you to create a wireless access uh, network, basically a Wi-Fi network. It is not, however, a wireless router. It is just an access point. And if we get the device opened up here, we can take a look at what is inside. So we've got an installation guide, handy. We have got a main unit, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then we also get a power adapter included, Netgear branded. This is uh, set up just for US voltages, uh, but is compatible with uh, 50 Hertz frequencies for some reason, despite only being uh, operational at 100 to 120 volts and also operates at 0 0.56 or 58. I believe 0 0.56 amps of output over this barrel plug jack here. Um, and then also included in the box is an ethernet cable. Let's see if this is cat five or cat six that they've included here. All right, so it is cat five E. That means this will operate at gigabit speeds, but trying to push 10 gig over it is almost certainly not a good idea. And with that, that is everything we have in the box. So let's go back and take a look at the main unit. Okay, so here is the main unit. Uh, what we've got on the front is just a set of status indicator lights. It looks like we have a power input, something uh, that looks like a WAN port indicator that almost certainly must be what it is. Uh, indicator lights or link lights, if you will, for ports one, two, and three, and then uh, operational indicators for the two different wireless radios that are built in 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, your standard Wi-Fi bands there. So uh, if we take a look around the backside of the device here, we've got a DC input, a WAN port, and then three LAN ports, and also a reset button here. Uh, we'll look at configuring this device a little bit more in another video. Hello again, this is overdubbing Matt because uh, the audio in this clip, like some in the last video, if you watched it, actually wound up dropping out towards the end. So uh, here I am to <laughs> replace the narrative for the end of this video. Uh, ultimately though, what I went on to say in this clip was that uh, we won't really be using the device in future videos necessarily for its intended normal purpose as a wireless access point to uh, extend a wired network onto a, uh, a wireless space, but rather to do the inverse in what's called bridge mode by allowing the wireless access point to connect to an existing wireless network and then take uh, the LAN ports that are on board for it and sort of extend that wireless network into back into, in this case, a wired space. And that's going to be uh, effectively useful in this scenario because at my apartment or my small house, as it were, uh, I don't necessarily have an Ethernet path uh, up to my upstairs where I'm filming these videos and nor do I really have the means to put one in on account of the fact that I am renting. I wanted to touch briefly too on the wireless router mode that this thing does actually employ despite what I had assumed earlier. I got into the configuration wizard for this device just briefly before 
uh, editing this video together, and I noticed that it does actually have a wireless router mode, so maybe we will go ahead and explore that more in the next video as well. Uh, but that essentially covers everything that I had to talk about in this video for this device. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, check out some of my other videos, and subscribe if you uh, generally think you may enjoy more of my content, and I will see everyone in the next video.